Well, Canelo puts out a statement about Triple G whenever he fought Murata by what he thought about his performance. And he said, he did what he's supposed to do, win by knockout. I'm not impressed, but he looked good. He looked strong, but I was never impressed, even before. I was never impressed about him. Before I get into that, hit the thumbs up, sub, and notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the newest content like this. Guys, I know I haven't been dropping these videos very often. It's been very sporadic, but we're going to get back in the motion of doing these boxing videos on a regular. I've had a lot of stuff going on. So now that that has come to a head, here we go. Back to boxing. How do I feel about this? Here's the deal. To me, Canelo has been salty when it comes to Triple G because... I don't care what anybody tells me. I know. I don't care what the record books say. I know I saw it. Triple G beat his ass in the first fight. I had the second fight a draw, although I will say if somebody had to get the edge, you could give the edge to Canelo, but I had it a draw. With that being said, I feel like Canelo is very salty when it comes to Triple G, but their trilogy fight doesn't make sense to me. Triple G does not look like he used to. He doesn't look like he looked when he fought Canelo the first time. He didn't even look the same when he fought Canelo the second time. He's aging, and the older he gets, the more accelerated it looks to go, and I just don't see how he could beat Canelo at this point in time, and I don't even know what weight class this would happen at. There's no way Canelo could go to 160. He has to fight him at 168. Triple G's never fought at 168. I just... Everything about this fight just tells me that Canelo's going to go out there and probably knock Triple G out because here's the thing about it. Triple G's endurance is fading very badly down the stretch. And that's where Canelo will become dangerous to him. Very dangerous. You could have the best chin in the world, but if you don't have any lungs to hold your body up, you're going to fall. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how strong your chin is. When you can't breathe, you can't throw punches, you slow down, and you fall over. That's just what I see. So the trilogy fight doesn't make sense to me. I know Triple G wants to have it to try to get his, avenge his loss and his draw, but I just think that this one's going to be a legitimate loss. Like, I, And I, I find it hard to believe that he would make it to the end of the fight. I, I don't think he'd see the final bell. I don't think he'd make it to the 12th round. I think he would get stopped somewhere in between the 8th to 11th round. I don't even, like I said, I don't even think he could see the 12th round. 8th to 11th, I think Canelo put so much pressure on him and just hits him in the body too much. It breaks him down to where Triple G at his age, just he won't be able to compete. Then he's going to have more weight on his body than he's ever had for a fight. Sometimes that can be beneficial because you don't cut weight, but at the same time, if you're not used to carrying and lugging around the extra weight, it could slow you down in the fight, and it could make you get tired faster in the fight. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about this, but I just don't see how this trilogy fight happens. But I do think Canelo was very salty when it comes to Triple G and doesn't truly want to give him the credit that he is due.